In Afghanistan this morning, new security concerns after that deadly Taliban attack at a luxury hotel. CBS News correspondent Mandy Clark is in Kabul with more on that. Mandy, good morning to you. Good morning. Well, the attack happened late last night, and it started with an explosion just outside the first checkpoint. Then gunmen armed with rocket-propelled grenades and assault rifles opened fire in the lobby. Now, eyewitnesses say some of them were wearing suicide vests and others were wearing police uniforms. The attack lasted several hours and only really ended when coalition forces helicopters opened fire and killed a few militants on the rooftop. Now, some stunned survivors were seen leaving the airport, the ho hotel today. Now, the Intercontinental is actually considered one of the safest locations in Kabul. It has three layers of security and it's up a hill. It was playing host to a number of regional officials who had come to the capital for meetings. Now, those meetings took place today and the main topic under discussion was security, the handover of uh, power from coalition forces to Afghan troops. Now, the Taliban has came out and claimed responsibility for the attack and said this assault proves that they can strike at any time. Jeff. Mandy Clark from Kabul. Mandy, thank you.